Hello friends, it's 9.30 in the morning, 96 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 and a half degrees Celsius for you on the metric system, and we're leaving San Felipe headed towards Ensenada. San Felipe is on the Gulf side of Baja, California. Ensenada is on the Pacific Ocean side. You'll notice on the map that we have to get over the Sierra Juarez Mountains as we head northwest. After going through a very quick military checkpoint, we're headed on Highway 3 towards the Pacific rather than north towards Mexicali. And see, a lot of times, you know, as gringos, you, know, you, you get, you see a bunch of military guys and they have guns and you kind of get nervous. Uh, there's no need. They're just doing their job. They're trying to keep the roads safe. They're trying to control, you know, movement uh, among foreigners coming into their country, uh, you know, USA does that, Canada does that, everywhere else does that, and that little white lizard, I don't know if you saw it, he was a little black and white lizard went across the street, or he could have been some kind of a scorpion because he did have a curled up back tail. Yeah, I don't know, don't know if he made it or not. He missed him with the right tire. I got hit by the left eye. We're not sure. If he's a lizard, I hope he did not get hurt. Scorpion? I'm not answering. <laughs> I know you have some scorpion watchers out there that uh, are going to unleash the scorpion king on me if I say something that we don't like. And so I'll try to be good. If you are mountain shopping, we have several different models to choose from. We have the smaller brown mountains, and then we have the rocky type mountains back behind them. Off to your right, we have some little bit different mountains. We're still, we're still working on those, don't have them perfected yet. Look up ahead. Uh, Jenny can't hear us, but she loves those wind turbines. And when we were traveling through southwest uh, part of the USA, Arizona, New Mexico, California, especially, seeing all the wind turbines, she was amazed. noticed is going through the mountains. I mean, this isn't a two-lane road here, and we'll be stuck behind some big, big truck pulling a heavy load, and a couple of cars may be also stuck behind it, and they'll be on a solid line, on a curve, and they'll just, oh, I'm passing that big truck, and they'll pass them without even knowing what's coming, and there lies one of the problems of why you see little monuments on the side of the road. Uh, we just waited a few minutes ago to pass a big truck, and I'm glad we waited because there was a cement truck coming that you couldn't see if you had passed on a curve. So, wherever you are, drive careful. Be careful. You don't pass through this life but one time. Yep, there's a cross right up here on the side of the road. And a truck passing us, kind of on a curve. He can get his own little cross there with some flowers. If that's what he wants. This is what they talked about. Yep, got some bad potholes along here that need to be filled, need to be worked over. The red truck that was in front of us, uh, he passed the little cattle truck here. There he is up there, but he passed him. Oh, well, they're fixing the potholes now. He passed him on a crest, on a crest of a hill, so he didn't even know what was coming. Oh, 
Hold on. A couple more potholes there. Talking about job security, those guys will never run out of work if their job is to work on Highway 3. got through the rough patch in the road back there and it's smooth sailing from here on yeah <laughs> probably not but smooth sailing right now yeah. driving through the Baja Peninsula one thing that's important I believe is to have a newer model car uh, we're with the electronics you can keep a check of your oil temperature you can keep a check of your water temperature you can keep a check of your air pressure and all four different tires and uh, kind of know what's going on all the time with your vehicle uh, we also carry a big jug of water in the back in case we do get stranded somewhere and uh, don't set yourself up for failure. That's, that's one of the keys to traveling long distances through the desert and through the mountains. Now we're getting more into the farming and ranching territory, away from the desert towards the more fertile land. You'll usually see the irrigation lines run out where they put water out uh, to help their plants survive the heat and the dryness. It's a little bit cooler than what it was when we left this morning. It's 11.30 in the morning. It's 93 degrees Fahrenheit. outside Fahrenheit and uh, can you imagine how hot it is for these guys working on this black asphalt doing this work out in the hot sun they got their long sleeves on it has got to be hot 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 Side of Ensenada. A lot of ranching out in this area. I've seen tons of black Angus cattle, and now here's some horses off to the side. Also seen some dirt devils uh, across the dusty fields. Those of you who don't know what a dust devil is, it looks like a little tornado out in the uh, in the dust. Five minutes before you get into Ensenada on Highway 3, you've got a military checkpoint. Make sure you give them a. Hola. 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 When you started. That young military 
fella. I bet he wasn't over. If he was 18 years old, that was that's a stretch. Yeah, Andrew is our, you've seen him before, he's 14 years old or 15, getting ready to be 15 years old in just a, uh, another few days, but uh, he was with us last year in San Miguel de Allende and then traveled across the south and the southeast with us to Florida and then up to Virginia. And it mentions... Uh, about the wine, there were some wineries back here behind us. We weren't going to film it, but we figured, nah, no need to, because we figured that we're going to do a whole episode on the vineyards up around Valley Guadalupe coming up soon. And I think you'll enjoy that. say this 30 minutes ago it was 87 degrees and once we crossed over that mountain got towards Ensenada it is 73 degrees so back at San Felipe three hours ago right at 100 degrees Fahrenheit you get in Ensenada 73 degrees Fahrenheit not too bad eh? Hey, we're back at one of our favorite places in Ensenada. And uh, yeah, this place, we'd always get the potatoes, where it's like a baked potato with all the fixings already ground up in it. Uh, we want the tacos today. It's, uh, you know, it's lunchtime. We thought we'd go a little bit lighter. So look forward to eating it. I'm starving and look forward to showing it to you. While on the West Coast, we're going to film several episodes in Ensenada, Rosarito, Tijuana, and the wine region of Valle de Guadalupe. We think you'll be pleased with upcoming content. At Carbones, you can get pretty much anything potato and taco-wise that you could possibly want. We've loved this place ever since we were here back in January of this year. Renee got two of the beef and cheese case of tacos. No flying, please. And I got one of those like that. And I got one with pork and pineapple and bacon. Yum, 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 yum. Hey, thank you so much for joining us on the journey. Hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already done so, share our videos, we appreciate it. Drop us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And don't forget we have another channel called Take a Breath. I'll put a link to that down in the description section so you can go over there and subscribe and help us to grow that channel. Dios te bendiga, mi amigos.